This is Bishop George Murray. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning and welcome. Please stand. Please join us in singing in your hymnals, number 241, All Are Welcome. Number 241, All Are Welcome. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship and power of the Holy Spirit be with each one of you. And with your spirit. As we begin the divine liturgy, as we enter into it, let us ask the Lord to forgive our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us together to everlasting life. Amen. Glory Lord. to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth Son of the Father, you 
take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father, Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked say, Let us beset the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one is the Son of God, God will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put the just one to the test, that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death for according to his own words, God will take care of him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. be to God. Hot 
mighty have risen up against me. The ruthless seek my life. They set not God before their eyes. The Lord upholds my life. The Lord upholds my life. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord sustains my life. Freely will I offer you sacrifice. I will praise your name, O Lord, for its goodness. The Lord upholds my life. The Lord upholds my life. A reading from the letter of St. James. Beloved, where jealousy and self-ambition exist, there is disorder and every foul practice. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure, then peaceable, gentle, compliant, full of mercy and good fruits, without inconstancy or insincerity. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. Where do the wars and where do the conflicts among you come from? Is it not from your passions that make war within your members? You covet, but do not possess. You kill and envy, but you cannot obtain. You fight and wage war. You do not possess because you do not ask. You ask, but do not receive, because you ask wrongly to spend it on your own passions. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. joy of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Lord, you. Jesus said to his disciples, Jesus and his disciples left from there and began a journey through Galilee. 
but he did not wish anyone to know about it. He was teaching his disciples and telling them, the Son of Man is to be handed over to men and they will kill him. And three days after his death, the Son of Man will rise. But they did not understand the saying, and they were afraid to question him. They came to Capernaum, and once inside the house, he began to ask them, what were you arguing about on the way? But they remained silent. They had been discussing among themselves on the way who was the greatest. Then he sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, If anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. Taking a child, he placed it in their midst, and putting his arms around it, he said to them, Whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Sometimes we foolishly ask ourselves, why don't I hear from God? Why doesn't God address the problems we're facing? We're so foolish. We have the whole sacred scriptures that over and over talk to us, speak to us. And under the power of the Holy Spirit, the scriptures that have been picked out in recent months for the people of God to reflect on have addressed directly the situation the world and the church finds itself in. The reading from Wisdom today, written a couple hundred years before Christ, it says, the world finds the just person obnoxious, abhorrent. The world will do everything to destroy and to discredit the just person. And that's what happens within the world today in regards to the church. The world finds the church obnoxious, abhorrent, something that could should be, if possible, destroyed and disbanded. Why? Because within Catholicism, we find out these basic truths. Killing is wrong. Abortion is wrong. Infanticide is wrong. Promiscuity is wrong. Theft is wrong. We find within Catholicism that there is an objective truth, a right and wrong, a good and evil. And we also find out within Catholicism the exploitation of the weak, the widow, the orphan, the stranger in the land is wrong. Those are all terrible evils. And finally, we find within Catholicism everyone has a greater allegiance than to any power in the world. We have to be aligned with Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our friend, our healer, our helper. We have a loyalty to our nation, it's true, but we have a greater loyalty than to any nation, our loyalty to God. And the world cannot stand that. That is an obnoxious, abhorrent reality. Now we know the church is human, and the church has been plagued with many scandals, especially in the course of our lifetime. And the abuse scandal, which reached its height in the 70s uh, and has declined since, is something that we all find very terrible. And the world will proclaim that over and over again. The world will not say about the reforms that have been made. The world will not address the uh, progress that has taken place that has the church with a model of safety for children that far eclipses any other type of religion or institution. You're not going to hear that story. But I want to give you a little homework assignment. Uh, go back home and Google or Bing or Yahoo uh, abuse in public school system. You'll be amazed. You'll be amazed. Uh, 
in June, July, and August of this year, the Chicago Tribune, much to its credit, did an extensive series of articles on the abuse in the Chicago public school systems that far eclipses anything the church is currently experiencing or even experienced at the height of the scandal in the church. How many of here have heard a quick show of hands about the abuse in Chicago in the public school system? Hmm, no hands have gone up. <laughs> and of course, if I asked who heard about the abuse in the Catholic Church, all of our hands would go up. Why? Because the world loves the public schools. In the public schools, the children are taught, well, killing's not so bad. Abortion's good and liberating and freeing and a person's right. You'll find in the public schools that there is no room for prayer or acknowledging any power greater than the state. You'll find in the public schools teaching that well, promiscuity isn't that bad. It's just personal choice, you know. So naturally, the world loves the public school systems and will not do anything to condemn them or to change them because they're carrying out the mission of the world so insidiously and perfectly. Now, last Monday, I went to a prayer service uh, for the United Nations. The United Nations started their 73rd General Assembly, and every year at the first day, they go to a Catholic church across the street from the United Nations to pray for the upcoming year. And so I joined in knowing that the United Nations certainly needs prayer. And the Secretary General of the UN was there. The President of the Assembly was there. There was a variety of diplomats there. There was the Vatican Diplomatic Corps there. And of course, there was me just sitting in the pews <laughs> praying for the United Nations. But if you Google as your second uh, assignment, Google uh, UN peacekeepers rape you're going to be astonished. Decade after decade after decade, thousands and thousands of reported terrible situations perpetrated by the United Nations peacekeepers around the world from all a variety of nations against men, women, and children. How many of those individuals were prosecuted? Well, I did a lot of looking around and I don't think there was more than 10 that were ever prosecuted. If people complained enough, the soldier would be just sent back to his native land. And why wouldn't the world you hear about that? Because the world loves the United Nations' desire to build a new world, not based on the laws of God, but on diplomatic negotiations. Despots have a place at the table as well as democratic leaders. The world loves the United Nations. So you're not going to hear bad news about the United Nations. But then we come to today's second reading. And this is the letter of James, a letter that Luther didn't like because Luther uh, wanted to have faith alone and James hits all the believing community over and over with the notion of the importance of good works. But he's addressing the believing community, not the world as a whole. And he says right off the bat, all the problems in the believing community come from jealousy and naked ambition. And that addresses the church's problem today, where people look for power and prestige within the church rather than seeking service. And that's at the core of our problem. There wouldn't be anti-clericalism if there wasn't clericalism. Clericalism is when someone seeks a role in the church in order to build themselves up, maybe even to make themselves wealthy, but to make themselves powerful and influential. And that has corrupted so many in the church over the centuries. Napoleon at one point said to a bishop, I'm going to destroy the church. And the bishop responded to him, by saying, oh, don't be silly. The priests and bishops have been trying to do that for 1,800 years and haven't succeeded. <laughs> but 
this notion of clericalism started with the apostles, and you see it in today's gospel. Jesus is telling them, I'm the, your Lord and Savior, and I'm going to die a miserable, horrible death because the world despises me, the world hates me, the world is repelled and finds everything I stand for obnoxious. And meanwhile, they're saying, who's going to get the best job in this new kingdom? I think I'm doing more than you. No, I'm doing more than you. And so they're fighting all the way. Jesus finally gets to the house. He said, but by the way, what were you discussing along the way? And they're shamed into silence. Shamed into silence. And Jesus brings in a little child and gives it a hug. said, you're able to love and welcome a child like this, you're welcoming me. You're loving me. And then you'll be great in the kingdom of God. That child can't give you power. That child can't give you prestige. That child can't give you wealth. But that child can give you love. And if you accept that type of love and become like a child yourself, then and only then will you be great in the kingdom of God. Now let us stand and pray together the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us bring our prayers before the Lord, knowing that God will always take care of us. For the church, that we may be servants to one another, particularly for those in need, and therefore bear witness to God's love for everyone, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis and all leaders in the Christian community, that God will guide them in addressing the wounds that the church has experienced and inspire them in promoting healing and renewed unity in the community of faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the suffering, and for all those in our community who are ill, that the dying and rising of Jesus may bring them healing and hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have been impacted by hurricanes, floods, wildfires, and that God will strengthen them, give them hope, and guide them to the assistance that they need we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace, that God will free hearts from anger and revenge and help all to see the value 
and dignity of each human life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And as we pray the int these intentions of this Mass, let us remember John, Mary, Bob, and Monica Tomko. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, listen to our prayers and grant us the grace to see your loving response in the words and actions of those around us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, to humble himself, to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, be pleased with this sacrifice, which we're going to offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord God, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through who him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other some sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Amen. Christ. Please join in singing our Christ. communion song. I am the bread the of life, of number 203. I am the bread of life, number 203. Right. 
Christ, the body of Christ, of the body of Christ, 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 and drink the body of Christ, the body of Christ, you shall not have life within you, the body of Christ, and I will raise. I will raise you up, and I will raise you up on the last day. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. I am the resurrection. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in the mystery and in the manner of our life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. in his ways. We, the daughters and sons of him who built the valleys and plains, praise the wonders our God has done in every heart that sings. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his